so today we are going to discuss about posterior tibial artery you can see this one this is a posterior tibial artery so actually it is coming from the popliteal artery the popliteal artery only divide into two terminal branches one is a posterior tibial artery and one is a peroneal artery so this posterior tibial artery mainly supplies the posterior compartment muscles okay according to the name posterior tibial artery supplies posterior muscles and also it supplies uh, muscles of lateral compartment that is our peroneus longus and peroneus brevis and of course it also supplies the sole of the foot not the uh, dorsum it supplies only the sole of the foot so now we'll start its beginning and course so it begins at the lower border of popliteus actually popliteus muscle will be here so it begins at the lower border of popliteus between the tibia and fibula deep to the gastrocnemius muscle and enters the back of the leg passing deep to tendinous arch of soleus and in the leg it runs downwards slightly medially to reach posterior medial side of the ankle here to reach the posterior medial side of ankle midway between the medial malleosus and medial tubercle of calcaneum okay and it terminates deep to flexor retinaculum and origin of abductor hallux is divided into lateral and medial plantar branches so you can see here this artery is dividing into the medial and lateral branches so this in turn will divide into medial and lateral plantar arteries okay so this is about our posterior tibial artery its beginning and course now let us see what are the relations so superficial to this in the upper two thirds of leg it lies deep to gastrocnemius soleus and also of course the superficial transverse facial septum whereas in the lower one third of the leg it runs parallel to and 2.5 cm in front of medial border of tendocalcaneus to here medial border of tendocalcaneus okay and it's covered by skin and fascia at the ankle it lies deep to flexor retinaculum and also to adductor hallux if you remember in the flexor retinaculum this is also part of the content of flexor retinaculum and this artery is accompanied by two vena cabinets and also by tibial nerve which crosses the artery from medial to lateral side actually the tibial nerve crosses this artery from medial side to lateral side okay so let us understand what are the different branches it has a peroneal one of the branches peroneal artery it is the largest branch of posterior tibial artery okay so you can see here this is a peroneal artery this is the largest branch of posterior tibial artery about this also we'll discuss in next video okay so this is also a terminal branch of popliteal artery okay and there are several muscular branches which are given to muscles of back of leg you can see here this it's mentioned here the muscular branches so this muscular branches supply the muscles different muscles we discuss like posterior compartment and also it has a nutrient artery of course nutrient branch you can see of tibia this one uh, and anastomotic branches of posterior tibial artery there are anastomotic branches like circumflex fibular artery branch you can see here this one circumflex fibular artery which winds around the lateral neck of fibula reaches the front of the knee where it takes part in anastomosis around the knee joint okay and there is a communicating branch also okay so there are some communicating branches from arch on similar branch of peroneal artery of 5 cm above the ankle so here here they are having some communicating branches here you can see this one this is a communicating branch okay which communicate with the peroneal artery and next there is a malleolar branch and anastomosis with other arteries over medial malleosus here this is a malleolar branch and you have the calcaneus branches here which are anastomosing with arteries in this calcaneum region so these are different branches so once again let us revise the branches first of course the largest terminal branch peroneal artery duct next you have circumflex fibular artery which participate in knee joint anastomosis next you have communicating branch which go to the peroneal artery next you have muscular branches which supply posterior muscles of back of leg next you have malleolar malleolar branches which supply the medial malleolar size and participate in anastomosis next you have calcaneus branches which participate here and we also have one perforating branch so these are the different branches of our posterior tibial artery now let us see the clinical anatomy related to it this posterior tibial pulse can be felt against calcaneum so i'll show another diagram you can check out there so here here you can see 
the posterior tibial pulse can be felt against calcaneum 2 cm below and behind the medial meliosus. So here, here you can feel the, this is the exact site of pulse of our posterior tibial artery. So by this we completed and also it has some terminal branches. The terminal branches, these are medial and lateral plantar arteries. So actually this uh, posterior tibial artery only in turn will give two branches. One is a medial artery and one is a lateral plantar artery. Okay. You can study them in soul later. So by this we completed the posterior tibial artery. Next we start a discussion on peroneal artery.